Hi learners, welcome back again on our productive and skill oriented platform. And previously, uh, we learned a number of concepts regarding the type one hypervisor and uh, we learn number of skills regarding uh, the deployment of uh, virtual machines inside Hyper-V Manager. And when we are uh, learning the concepts uh, regarding the virtual machine deployments, so previously we skipped a topic uh, which is uh, differences between generation one and generation two VM. So when uh, when you run the visit regarding the implementation of uh, a virtual machine, so it will be uh, asked what kind of virtual machine you are going to create. It might be generation one or it might be generation two. So um, uh, being as a uh, uh, virtualization expert or being as a virtualization professional, it's your uh, responsibility to uh, get the basic differences between generation one uh, and generation two so you can implement the vms uh, in in production infrastructure according to your own requirements so uh, there are four major differences between generation one and generation two so the first one is generation one supports older operating systems which include server 2008 and server 2008 r2 while uh, generation two uh, type vms does not support any kind of older operating system the second difference is that uh, generation one supports both type of operating system 32 bit and 64 bit uh, when we are uh, proceeding with the installation of operating system while generation two only supports 64 bit operating system inside virtual machine the third and uh, more important difference is that generation Two introduces a new type of BIOS, which is called UEFI, which is the latest version of BIOS and have uh, uh, have the capability to support a number of features regarding the advanced deployment, which include GPT partition table. So, uh, if you are going with the generation one, so generation one VM will be created with the uh, legacy BIOS, while uh, generation two uh, will integrate advanced BIOS type, which is known as UEFI based. And uh, the fourth uh, major difference between the generation one and generation two is that generation two supports 64 TB size volume inside the virtual machine. So if you want to attach a VHDX uh, a file, which is uh, uh, about uh, uh, 64 TB, so uh, you can utilize the generation two option while generation one only supports two TB of volume. So if you are uh, implementing a VM um, in which you require uh, size more than 2 TB. So you must have to be go with the generation 2. So there are many other differences uh, also mentioned uh, on, on uh, Microsoft official documentation and all those differences uh, contain in a detailed document which is already uh, uploaded with the course. So you can uh, find uh, that document inside the resources so if you have any uh, queries regarding uh, more differences between generation one and generation two so you can explore that document as well so i hope that now onwards uh, you have a clear concepts between the generation one and generation two so let's move with the further exploration uh, of hyper v manager <laughs> 